Okay, boys and girls, we're at Target. Um, I was gonna get my coffee there, but I got it at Starbucks and I'm I'm headed to Earth Care. I think I broke my toe. If I didn't break it, I probably sprained it. I was putting together some furniture, tripped over something, and my toe just got bent really bad. So I'm gonna go in and see what exactly happened. You'll see in the next clip, my toe, it completely took the nail polish off. That's how much I stood up on my toe and just did everything to prevent myself from falling. Take a look. This is literally, so far, the worst hospital. So much for that visit. I don't know, I think I got a, a whacked out provider here and I might need to look into how to change because I don't know, I don't, I don't get it. There's just no compassion. The triage um, got my info, the doctor came in, told me, if I wanted x-rayed, I gotta wait. He gotta call the guy at home. The x-ray guy is at home and he gotta come in an x-ray to see if I fractured or broke my toe. So then he said to just tape it together, elevate it, and something about rice, the, for an acronym for what to do. I'm thinking to myself, if it's not broke, it's possibly and can we just deal with it from the point of really what's wrong and not what might be wrong? Cha. I I I I never. I'm so I'm so um I'm so shocked. I'm so shocked. I'm a little bit in disbelief. This is my third attempt coming here. I have a, my first doctor's appointment on Tuesday. I came three times to go to the blood lab because she put in a request for me to get my blood drawn. And each time I came, the blood lab is only accepting patients with cancer. And I was told you can come in anytime. So I'm already here today, same thing. Like, what is this? All right. Um, the girl was so, um, well, she wasn't rude, but she wasn't considerate or, um, I don't know what word to say. Anyways, I didn't see some sign five feet back at the beginning of the line. And since it was just me there and this guy just showed up, he got in line and well, went to the window to pick up his, to talk about his issues with his prescription transfer from Walmart to here or something like that. And I was just standing behind him, and she's like, ma'am, could you go get in line and we'll call you? Like, I still hear everything you're saying and everything he's saying. If you want me to move back because for privacy reason, I can hear everything everybody's saying crystal clear. So, you know, customer service and public jobs, they're just not the same when it comes to dealing with people. And I still can't get over the guy just blew me off basically. The most in the West. A new Highland room for five elevated gaming experiences. Well, new that's luxury my story. Shops, restaurants and, and bars. Hope and it gets better. Thrills to come. So let me go back home and use this tape that he gave me and say tape my two toes together. Tomorrow my grandson's being christened and I guess um, I'll be wearing slippers. I don't even know because now I feel like I'm limited to what I can wear as far as shoes are concerned. Get out of here. And then um, on top of that, 
you know, just how am I going to get along? Getting my errands done and stuff. I, I'm just not understanding this, this new life and new ways of people doing things. I'm just blabbering. Mm -hmm. It's Saturday and tomorrow we're going to be christening the baby. I might get a snip of him and I think that my daughter requested that we wear red red and navy blue or something like that I don't have either like nice clothes in red or navy blue and it's too hot to be wearing black well I mean the stuff that I have that's black it's too hot to wear but um and I don't want to go buy another outfit unless I go to Dee Dee's because they're their most reasonable place see what they have well I'm gonna go ahead and carry on with the errands for the day and it's so unfortunate that um, I hurt my toe all right see you on the next one no all right have a good holiday thank you I will. Hope I like this. <laughs> so I got the um, sugar cookie, something or the other. <laughs> I know you guys can't really see me, but I'm on my way to Target, and uh, I didn't want to get the the coffee. I wanted to get the coffee at Target, but I didn't because Target act like they can't read my um, rewards card. So. don't taste like a sugar cookie at all but it's still good I really wanted the sugar cookie vibe Ooh, child, I don't even know what this is but I'm trying to figure out what it tastes like just iced coffee really actually regular iced coffee I don't like that. Hi. Hi. Well, I just went through and got the sugar cookie, but I don't like it at all. Can I switch for a different Christmas drink? Yeah. I'm going to go chestnut praline. Should I go hot or cold, though? Mm, I like that one hot. Do it come with whipped cream on top of it? Yeah, it does. All right, I'll take that one hot. It I don't know. I don't feel like struggling through it. You know what I mean? Like, I could struggle through it, but I don't want to. I'm already here. There's no real line. So I just drove through, and I'm just going to try something else. Hmm. Something going on in the corner over there. Okay, boys and girls, we're at Target. <laughs> um, I was going to get my coffee there. But I got it at Starbucks and I'm I'm just going to go in there and look around. I r ran my errands today sort of like how I do it in a circle starting from my house. Go further out, basically just in a circle. I said this many times before, but this is just I methodically run my errands. So I'm going to I made Target the last cuz I could have went the opposite direction, but I made Target the last because I wanted to spend time in there just looking at stuff and I'm going to buy that um, candy that I can't get enough of from there today also. Or I might buy it at um, Rite Aid because if I buy $10 worth of stuff at Rite Aid I get $2 back. Um, yeah. Alright, so see you on the next clip. So I'm in Target and I'm using it for an excuse to look for the baby a Christmas present. So I'm going right to the baby section. Um, I really want to go to Barnes and Nobles and look for some books, but that's a whole nother city away and I'm not feeling like that. But um, I might look for some more unique decor also.
get him these keys. I'm sitting in front of Target and I'm going to show you what I got from there before I take off home. I got a Christmas present for my little baby grandson, Goo Goo Gaga, a set of keys, and um, it has like a teething ring situation on it, and this is what it looks like. And it was marked down from like, I think $12 or something like that for nine. And then I got this Hawaiian shaved ice and it's an energy drink that I had been wanting to try. I saw this in the GNC and it was a small fortune for just one can. So I figured this is the way to go it's called hawaiian shaved ice i told you that i got that and i'm glad i found out where i can get my la Falone coffee because i ordered it from amazon but i see that target had it and you saw that earlier in the clip this was in the dollar section and it is a to-do list but it had it in like a print and some of two other um prints but I picked the yellow one because it reminded me of a, what do you call it? A, um, yellow stickies and also the, the tablets. And then I picked this up. I had never seen this concealer serum. So I like the idea of serums in there. And that's all I got from Target. So I wanted to do that before I head to another store and then I'm going to go by T-Mobile to um, handle my cell phone. Like I'm going to see maybe if I trade in my 7 Plus. Do you all keep your old phones? So I'm at the gas station and I didn't even plan on coming to the gas station but earlier I passed up the recycle place and I thought I do not want to be bothered with that today. But I have been saving my recycle in the car to give to the homeless. There was a homeless guy and, it, and I wouldn't even remember other than he was asking every car that pulled up, do you have any, asking him, do you have any um, recycle in your car? So I was like, what? I have like tons of, of them because I literally was saving for the homeless because I feel like sometimes you just, you know if they really want it they'll take it but you know you're kind of helping yourself and them too so i just thought maybe i was led to pass up the recycle and get gas i did not have getting gas in the cards for tonight so all right just thought i'd tell you that little i'm going through burger king because you got this this meal right here for $3.49. Hi, I have a coupon number 6839 for a double cheeseburger meal. All right, and for your drink? Um, Coke, Easy Ice, or do you have Pepsi? Do you have Coke or Pepsi here? We have Coke products. Okay, so um, Coke, easy ice, please. I only had a bagel and coffee this morning at home. And then I had another coffee while I was out. And I, I wanted to eat something else for lunch, but it just didn't feel like food. So I didn't worry about it, but it's like 6.22, I think. Let's see. Yeah, six, well, 6.22 or so. And um, my daughter, her husband, and the baby, they're headed our way because the baby's gonna get christened in the morning. 
So she's going to be sleeping over at my youngest daughter's house. And um, she wanted to know if I wanted to go to the mall with her. But my feet, my broken toe or sprained toe, whatever's going on, I just can't do it. Plus, I'm going to have company next weekend and I'm trying to get ready for So I need to get stuff done while I can. Thank you for watching my vlog. If you enjoyed it, please thumbs up, subscribe if you have not, and share the video also if you like. And I will see you on the next clip. Goodbye.